Minecraft has changed a lot over the years. The game has so many features and mechanics that there are bound to be some that roll under the rug. Some of these features have lost a relevancy with the addition of new updates that bring new additions to replace them. Others might purposely be secret or provide little benefit at all. I have compiled a list of 20 features nobody uses. I try to order these from features very 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 few people might use to features no one uses at all, unless you're either new, crazy, or because you're bored. Without further ado, let's begin. Starting off in 20th is the super secret features. I have this one at the bottom because it's meant to be secret so I figured to just get out of the way. It acts as a gimmick to mess around with for a little bit. What these features do is give the endgame player different vision modes that other mobs use. There used to be an option in the pause menu that after clicking on it, their vision would change navigating these but was removed in update 1.9. They were added as a way to ensure that shader support was functional for a brief time. You can still use these by switching over to spectator mode and interacting with a creeper, enderman, or spider. On to 19th is charcoal, which is somewhat useful if you can't find the most abundant ore in the game. You can create charcoal by smelting any wood log in the furnace, but besides that and the texture, it's the same as coal. Honestly, after I get enough coal in my world, I will naturally start to ignore the stuff altogether. I can't remember the last time I even made charcoal. And 18th is the rabbit. Pretty much no one uses anything even related to the rabbit, except maybe the toast feature. These include the rabbit's hide, rabbit's foot, and rabbit stew. As of version 1.19, the rabbit's hide can only be used as a recipe for leather, four of which is needed. The rabbit's foot is only used for the potion of leaping, which we will bring up again later, and the rabbit's stew can be made using the rabbit's meat, but at the cost of quite a bit of resources along with its lack of sackability, makes it not worthwhile in my opinion. In 17th is a rare biome that does not have many features that make it unique, besides the mushroom cows, mycelium, and that no hostile mobs spawn in this biome, that being the mushroom islands. It is a pretty barren landscape. The mushrooms which the biome is built around have become more common to find in biomes added in updates previously, making the biome more obsolete over time. I do hope that a new addition to this region does get implemented because it has great potential to be an amazing overhaul. 16th. Ah, the nitwit. This one is supposed to have no purpose other than being a meat shield against zombies. Nobody really uses these because they are not able to have a profession and provide no value to the player aside from company. Not much more to say about this one. Number 15 is going to be the Potion of Leaping. I don't think I've seen anyone applying this potion in their survival worlds at all. I made it only once when it first came out many updates ago to mess around with. Don't get me wrong, it is a fun potion to use, but since there is only a 10% chance without looting of getting a rabbit's foot, statistically I don't think killing 10 rabbits for one of these potions is a nice price to pay. I feel like the jumping ability will be more worthwhile if jump boost 1 allowed you to jump 2 blocks instead of 1.5, and boost 2 allowed you to reach 2.5 or 3 blocks. I would like to quickly mention that if you're enjoying the video, I would appreciate you subscribing and or liking the video to see more videos like this one. Now back to the video. The 14th spot is Chain Armor. This armor set is hard to come by because you can only get them in survival by trading with villagers, finding them in structures around the world, or off zombies and skeletons. If leather acts as the wood tier of the armors, then the chainmail acts as the stone variant because it offers more protection than leather armor but less than iron. There is a very low chance that when you find this armor you will even need it because it doesn't take much time to make an iron armor set if you're out mining for a while. The chain armor would be cool to obtain a full set of in survival as a trophy. Also, there is no way to craft this set currently, however in 1.8 and earlier versions you were able to give yourself fire and creative, which is used as a recipe to construct the armor. So while you technically can craft it, you will not have the means to do so. Next up, number 13 is the dead bushes, which can be found in deserts, badlands, and the old growth taiga. You can use these as fuel, decoration, or for sticks. People do not use these because there is no incentive to find them. You can almost always find a source of fuel nearby, and using them as decoration is definitely not the most beautiful thing to look at. One thing that is interesting about the dead bush is that you cannot create more of them, unlike our next feature. The beetroot stew makes the list at number 12. This food is only found in snowy tundra villages, making it rare. Besides stumbling upon it, players do not make these because of the cost to do so. You need 6 beetroots in a bowl to make it giving you 6 hunger icons. That doesn't sound that bad until you realize that having 6 beet roots also refills your hunger bar by 6 while also allowing you to stack beets for precious space. Yeah, I'm not sure why this is a thing. Number 11 is locked repeaters. 
This is a feature that is surprisingly unknown to many, but I think more people, especially those that are adept at redstone, will find many uses for this. These redstone repeaters occur when a repeater is beside another repeater or comparator and is being powered. The result causes the main repeater to lock up to power its own path so that it does not interfere with other signals. This provides a lot of potential for redstone contraptions. At the halfway mark is the Potion of Turtle Master. This is a powerful potion that allows the user to gain either a resistance 3 or 4, however this comes with a trade-off of having slowness 4 or 6, leaving the user with very limited ability for a short while. Knowing the name of this potion makes it feel somewhat underwhelming as it just feels like it is made for someone with a very specific playstyle. In our ninth spot I have dying, and removing dyed leather armor. Usually it takes a long while to even be able to make a few leather armor pieces, and because of that, players don't really wear leather armor before iron armor. The feature of dying and removing leather armor is nice to have in the game as a little bit of customization, but this adds no gameplay additions besides that, which is okay, but many don't even bother to use this feature at all. Still, I believe it has been used more times than what's next. In 8th place is a clock. The clock is one of the most useless items on this list. You can make with 4 gold ingots around a piece of redstone dust. They help tell the player the time of day and only work in the overworld. I think Mojane meant for these to be used in mines where there is almost no way to tell the time except with lowering render distance, but I can't think of a situation in which they are needed. The spawner minecart is in 7th place. The reason why no one uses this is because hardly anyone even knows it exists, and even those that do will not find a purpose to use it. It can only be obtained in creative, but unfortunately the spawner doesn't work even if you try to use commands to spawn a select mob. That is because Minecraft labels it as an in-game entity rather than an item. Number 6 is riding a pig. This used to be the only mountable animal in the game in early versions of Minecraft until horses were added. Pigs move at about the same speed as a strider and were added without any purposeful use, turning away many from this bizarre sight, though it is fun to mess around with. The top 5 features have a very, very minuscule purpose, if any at all, and players certainly don't use any of these whatsoever. Number 5 is the Furnace Minecart. I'm sure you saw this one coming. This one is well known for being useless. It's somewhat glitchy, slow, and not as efficient as powered rails, which get the job done far better. I tried using the Furnace Minecart for the first time ever and would gain speed when the Furnace Car hit my minecart, but then I would take off for a little bit then would have to wait while the furnace catches up with me, because for some reason, it moves less than half the speed of the player. Yeah, it works, but only if you want to play linear bumper cars. Number 4 is the Golden Hoe. No one is going to go out of their way to make a Golden Hoe, only for it to break as soon as it touches dirt. Though Golden Tools are something to be desired, they have the best efficiency in the game, beating out even Netherite but in exchange they have lower durability. The speed of the golden hoe makes it pretty obsolete as having a quick hoe is not needed as much as, say, a pickaxe. It comes at the price of gold, which can be used in far better ways too. The spectral arrow makes its way to number 3. This arrow serves no purpose other than very precise situations in PvP where it might be useful for tracking a player down. Pretty much what this arrow does is highlights the target that you have shot for 10 seconds and that's it. This is another one where I cannot find a scenario where this will be useful to craft or use. In second place is a structure we never think about because it's easily forgettable. So forgettable that it is the only structure that you cannot locate with commands because no one except me would use it. That being the desert well, which can be found scattered throughout the sandy terrain of this biome. Whenever I see one of these I always question why they exist. Many years ago, I thought desert wells meant that there was a ravine that could be found underneath because of the actual amount of times that I did stumble across one by mining straight down the middle, but apparently that was just luck. The blocks making up it provide no value because sandstone can easily be made with some sand and there is almost always another source of water nearby. I don't think anyone has ever benefited from stumbling across one of these, but at least it's something to acknowledge when wandering around. And the number one spot is something that I think we all can agree on that no one ever uses or even likes. That being... The poisonous potato. Yep, this food item does nothing else but poison the player. This is something that has no use, you cannot plant it, bake it, or even throw it away as compost. Luckily, you only have a 2% chance of getting it from harvested potatoes. This is actually a feature that is meant to be useless. If you're playing on a realm or server, you can always collect several stacks of these and put them in a friend's chest. 
That way you can pass your problem on to them and they won't know what to do with them. I hope that at least some of these features will play a larger role in the game in the years to come. At the same time, I think several of these don't need to gain a greater purpose other than the use they already have to them. I'm sure your top 20 list will have a different order than what I have. Let me know in the comments what you would place where and any thoughts you'd like to share. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and have a good one.